Hello YouTube, I'm Avenue Productions, and welcome back to another video! Now yes, I know it's been a little bit of time since I last made a Minecraft video, but don't worry, the Minecraft videos are gonna stay in full force here on the channel, I have plenty of them planned for the future. Anyways, today's video of course is how to find desert temples really fast in Minecraft, these are gonna be some awesome methods. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is because before I had two videos that you guys really enjoyed, how to find end cities really fast and how to find villages really fast. If you're new to the channel and haven't seen those, I'll link them down below for you. But anyways, yes, today we're doing how to find desert temples extremely fast in Minecraft. I'm going to show you guys two methods. The first one you're really going to enjoy. I think you guys are going to like it. It doesn't take too much time at all. But the second one is going to be blazing fast. And I think that one is really the one that you guys are going to like. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, everybody. So starting off with the first tutorial, the first thing we're going to do is look for a desert. Of course, if you're in your world and you already know exactly where a desert might be, and especially one that you haven't fully explored yet, uh, you're going to want to head to that one. But deserts aren't too hard to find. They do have many useful materials such as cactuses and, of course, desert temples, the thing we're looking for. So finding a desert is going to be necessary. Now, the best way to find something like a desert in Minecraft is to either swim across the ocean until you come across one or climb a mountainous area like that and scan the area for one. And to make sure that you guys don't get lost in your desert, I would recommend bringing something like a compass or hitting F3 on your keyboard and uh, logging your X, Y, and Z coordinates there so you know where you can head to and, and go find your home. But anyways, the desert is an expansive place with desert temples lurking around it and, and sometimes they can even be hidden by the sand. So I'm going to give you guys a few tricks on how to locate them better. Now when we're running around on the ground level like this, we're not really revealing that many blocks, if you will. So finding a desert temple is going to be harder. Of course, we're going to want to climb to a near elevation point. The bigger the mountain, the better in this case. Climb a tall mountain so you can get the best vantage point possible for looking for these desert temples. We can definitely see more stuff. However, I'm going to show you guys how you can see even more stuff. Once you've found a pretty decent vantage point, you're going to want to hit the escape key, go down to your options, go into video settings, and only if you have a pretty beefy computer, up your render distance to the highest one that you can possibly go to. You don't have to go to 32 chunks, but up it until you hit a point where you can reveal a lot of blocks and not lag out. Again, if you have a slower PC, this, uh, this might hurt your performance quite a bit. So only take this to the point where it's not going to be, you know, an unplayable game. So now we can see way more of the land. It's loaded in. We can actually see that the desert continues over this way. But going back into your options, if you lower your FOV down like this, you'll actually notice that you have a zoomed in vision uh, quite similar to something like Optifine, and you can really scan the land now for those various desert temples. Now remember, this is only method one, so this isn't going to work as well as method number two, but it certainly is better. As you can see, we don't really see any right now. It looks like the desert does continue over there, so I'm going to go continue over that way and look again. And again, this zoom in feature really does help you see uh, a lot more of the land and find stuff like this that might help you lead to a desert temple faster. All right, well, here we are over near the other desert. If we zoom back in, we can see that there is a village. That's actually a good sign. I've noticed that desert temples often spawn near desert villages, but in the remote area, I am not seeing any desert temples, but it looks like the desert stops over that way, but the desert does continue on over there. All right, moving along, we came from over there. This desert really does get quite expansive. So again, we're going to lower our FOV down and scan the area for desert temples. Looks like there's a ravine over there. That's a cool find. Oh, there it is. There's our desert temple. And it didn't really take us too long either to find it. Again, this is the slower of the two methods, but there it is. Let's go check it for loot. All right, well, here is our desert temple, and again, it's right near a village. Like I said, villages are often a good sign that you're close to a desert temple. All right, so in this desert temple... Oh, diamond horse armor. That's very useful. Three diamonds, not too bad, and some gunpowder. Well, this one's actually got some pretty good loot. Well, it's too bad I'm in creative mode, and I don't really care about the loot. All right, moving on to the second method. So starting the second much faster method, we're going to need to do a little bit of preparing for this one before. I've just started in a fresh world here. If in the world that you want to find your desert temple on, 
You already have a desert that has unexplored parts that you can go to, I would go there now. But if you don't have a desert in your world or have not found one yet, all you have to do is hit F3 and open up the X, Y, and Z coordinates on the side there. Now the next thing we're going to do is open up this link down in the description below. It's called chunkbase.com slash apps slash desert temple finder. Again, link in the description. This tool is simply amazing. Now, essentially what you can do with this works on the Java edition and the Benrock edition. All you have to do is put your version in down here, go into your Minecraft, we're on Java edition today, go into the chat, type slash seed, and then enter, and there you can see the seed down there. Go back into the chat, and all you have to do is click the seed, and it will copy it to your keyboard. And then all you have to do is go back into your Desert Temple Finder, where it says enter the seed of your world. You're going to hold down the control button and then hit V, and it will paste your seed. And there you can see it'll load your seed up and show you all the desert temples in the remote area. So as you can see in Minecraft, our X coordinate is 84 and our Z coordinate is 322. So we're going to type that down on the bottom left hand corner of Desert Temple Finder, 84 and 322. And then we'll hit go. And as you can see, this is our spot on the map. If we zoom out here, we can see all the desert temples in the local area. And we can see our, that the closest desert temple is going to be at negative 1,162 and negative 227. Now, after we've located the closest one with our little finder over here, head towards those coordinates. Again, it's always good to bring a compass with you so you don't get lost. Now I know some of you guys in the comments down below are going to say, well, this is just cheating. While this does help you locate the temple, you still have to do all the work yourself. There is no real cheating involved in Minecraft. As far as Minecraft the game is concerned, this is completely okay. So we're going to head in this direction because it is lowering both our X coordinate and our Z coordinate which is the coordinates that we want to lower. Of course, we're looking for around negative 1,200 and negative 200. And be prepared for everything. Make sure you bring boats and such for crossing things like oceans. And well, it looks like we have stumbled upon our desert here. And crossing over this hill, it looks like we have found our desert temple. So yes, this method is extremely fast. And I understand if you guys don't want to use it because it might feel a little bit cheaty. But if you guys desperately need to find that desert temple, uh, this one will definitely come in handy. Again, there's a reason I show the, uh, the first method first because it is, of course, all the different little tips and tricks that you would not have thought of to find the desert temple originally. Like I said earlier in the video, they do get covered in sand a lot, but this is definitely a desert temple. All right, let's observe our desert temple for some loot. Sweeping edge one, some gold, mending, that is an awesome find, very good book, and just some more gold. Well, this one wasn't as nice as the other. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. I am Matt Video Productions, and I hope this video helped you guys out and helped you find those desert temples. If it did, please leave a like and let me know in the comments what loot you got from this. Check out my other tutorials on how to find things in Minecraft extremely fast. Again, more videos to come in the future. I'm Evie Reductions. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.